Hi folks, uh, happy to bring you the first ace tanker in our Centurion 7-1. I did not care for this tank very much at first. It's got a very soft hull, it's got um, a pretty good turret, um, and its gold rounds are actually a Hesh round. And so it does, uh, it will kind of an always does damage round unless, um, unless you hit a type 5 or something, but uh, it has 480 damage and 210 penetration. So there, and the standard rounds have 268 pen, which is excellent. And, um, but there's really no, uh, kill them all round. So if you t face a type five frontally, you're going to struggle. Anything really heavily armored, you're going to struggle. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get it started. The gun depression on this is very nice. I want to say it's 10 degrees. Um, but the uh, unlike the M46 Patton, it doesn't have very good DPM. So that's also part of the reason. And I feel like the M46 is faster and snapshots much better. So there's some disadvantages to the Centurion 7-1 that have really... Uh, kept me down a little bit. We, we'll keep talking about the tank because I struggle with some shots here early and uh, am not able to create damage. This was, I want to say this was done um, late at night. Um, it was really quite late at night I was playing. And so, um, but anyway, I've got since gotten better at the tank, I think. Um, I just don't feel like... Um, it's quite up to snuff with the American tanks, quite honestly. Just that 9.4 second reload just really hurts, you know. Versus, I think that the my Patton with my setup has 7.77 seconds. I mean, that's 1.7 seconds faster. That that's a lot. But I will say, you know, it is a tier nine, and this is a tier nine game. And any time that you can you can pump out. Uh, 390 alpha shots on guys um, you're looking good you know you start they start adding up although I will say the first half of this game is fairly standard and that's that's occurred to me a lot here lately because I've been trying as I've mentioned I've been trying to play a little safer uh, we are able to get a shot on this t25 AT uh, for free nobody sees us but uh, Nevertheless, um, so we're going to take a blind shot here too, but as I've played safer and lasted longer into the battle, I get early, some early damage for free, and but then usually right at the end of the game is where I get my damage, you know, and you'll see that's the case here. This poor Conqueror is taking already like left and right. And so I don't want to be a victim of that, so I'm kind of moving off to the side. And we're quite lucky that we don't get shot by the Centurion 5-1, but I think he is focused on the Conqueror. So, um, good for us, I guess. And this is just a poke and peek fight. It always is. Now, I have wanted in the past to push up a little bit. Um, but I find that every time I push up to the next building, I get stuck there, and I have a hard time. This this LTG, I notice him a little bit late, but we're able to put a shot into him. But he really has very little chance, and, and it's not wise for him to poke on a on a tier nine medium in a tier seven light tank. He needs to be camoed up at the very least. The Centurion probably only had turret there would be my guess and uh, so he bounces as I said this turret is pretty amazing it's very very good it's better than the Patton's turret that's for sure but I'm not sure it's worth giving up uh, the DPM that you give up quite honestly so we pick up a nice shot on the LT uh, 432 and at this point it is time to move up we're able to hit a snapshot this thing does snap better than, say, this the Centurions, in my opinion, and some of the other British tanks. A lot of British tanks, you just do not fire unless you're fully aimed. But um, 
still, it's, it is not the best snapshotter, so. So, we go for a snap on that 432, and uh, we miss, of course. And we're just watching the city. The city's doing okay. And I aim that shot just a little bit off to the side. And the sides of that 430 are a black hole. There's another shot into the side of them. Especially at this range. So, I don't know why, but he decides to keep on moving and we're able to get a shot into him. So. So again, the city's looking okay. We're kind of, it's kind of an even game, eight to eight. Uh, we have taken out one of their arty, which is nice because this thing takes a ton of arty damage. I mean, look at the size of that engine deck. Um, arty just loves to shoot at it, so. So we see this Conqueror is a one shot and he's he is definitely not paying attention and we're able to help out our EBR. So, one thing is that 432 has very little chance of penning this turret. He has got to hit the weak spot, and it's not an easy spot to hit. You see how small that cupola is. Um, and at this point, I get the bright idea to load Hash, because he's fairly low on health, and he seems to be camping that corner like his life depends on it. And I'd like to take him out as soon as possible. We are losing the city pretty badly at this point. So it's 9 to 11. And, but we do see the uh, Crusader. Their last, their last arty, which is fantastic for us. So we're going to trundle forward because I feel like I'm going to be loaded at the time that I come around this corner and we are but we definitely low roll and now there's two tanks looking at us and I don't know why this scorpion panics and backs up but he does and we're able to side scrape him and take him out the 430 is firing HE which okay we're happy with that because we only take a little bit of damage and now at this point, it's three on two, and I'm wanting us to play this smart. Unfortunately, our RD does not move, and I, I ask him to move, but he does not, so. And this, this Pershing, um, he's been kind of sitting back all game. Um, I don't think he's probably the best player, but you know, he does offer some suspicion I'm not gonna not gonna lie about that but he uh, just you'll see later on basically so I am just trying to figure out if these guys are gonna try and commit to cap or what exactly their plan is and it's a little bit slow in here let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit um, so our arty rather than moving out to the field where we can help them and where, where he can get shots we can sucker them out to get shots. He moves into the corner where he's trapped. I just, I don't understand that thought process, quite honestly. So, again, I'm just, I'm just moving along the edges trying to spot stuff. And, uh, and I come a little bit too close here, unfortunately. And I think this is where we pick up the action again. Yep, there's the Oho, and I am extremely fortunate. One nice thing, this, this side does have side skirts, but we're going to throw one into the lower plate because I, I know he's not going to reload in time. And why I'm side scraping, I don't know, because he's got an HE gun. You could yell at me for that in the comments. But I want to get further away from him. And this guy, he throws another shot into me. Now I'm trading fairly well, but there's still an Amil left. And that Amil, there he is right there. That Amil is 
really he's something to contend with because he's got uh, you know a four shot auto loader and you never know when or if he's going to be loaded so I decided to back off a little bit and I'm kind of wanting this Pershing to back off as well because quite frankly we can out distance them and and hopefully get and we put that guy 386 just a little bit of a lower and I pull out like a retard and get hit so um we low rolled them on the oho instead of high rolling and, and it takes us another shot to take him out so the pershing now is locked in a battle with this a mill and sadly enough i have not been paying attention to how many shots he's got but it looks like he may He's, he's got at least two left. And in the heat of the moment, I was not counting. So he hits me and takes out my ammo rack. So the last thing I want to do is pull back out and have my ammo rack explode. So, so if you're in that situation and you're a bottom tier tank, you know, go somewhere that you, you can support your teammate but and this barrel's in the way of course but go somewhere that you can support your teammate but you don't need to be like so close to the enemy because they're just going to YOLO you so I think that the Emil hit the gun there um, and we're side scraping him and uh, we're trying to do everything right here because we've got 5900 damage 6 kills um, it does rack up fast when you're firing a lot of shots but at the point that we were near nearly the last tank alive um, we uh, we we only had like 3,000 damage so so here I decide I'm gonna load a hash round and I know that this the conqueror player is upset with me or whatever but I don't care, I'm going to take my time and do what I think I need to do to win the game. And we go ahead and win the game um, and with seven kills. So um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the after action report. As I said, this is my first ace tanker in this. Okay, here we are at the end plates. Uh, we got an ace tanker, we, uh, unsurprisingly a high caliber, and we got a top gun. Um, we were top of our team. Um, our conquer, ooh, he only did 1600 damage. But anyway, we did 6,000 damage, seven kills, 1456 base XP. So I feel like we really did carry that game. We fired some hash, so we ended up uh, losing a few credits, and we fired a lot of shots. 31 shots fired, 19 hits. So you know we spent a lot on ammo as it was, but so be it. I'll. I'll take a little bit of a loss for a game like that so 2900 xp after the double so i appreciate you guys watching i hope to uh, catch you on the next one leave a comment uh, leave a like if you'd like and we will catch you next time